begin I want to congratulate every person that is really making efforts for the church to to progress and be in good condition Mungu wabariki sana Praise God The executive team cannot pay you even the other leaders cannot pay you for your commitment The Lord bless you so much Many people can be appreciated but because you're just a believer and you just come on Sunday we may not trace you but the Lord see you and bless you praise the Lord uh, I want to congratulate my ladies somebody clap, uh, clap for my ladies <laughs> I'm hearing a gentleman saying Kwani gentleman Kwani, kwani, we are not your, your sons, you are. Praise God. But uh, I just want, Mutua did not mention anything about gents, but me, I want to mention something about ladies, about the project. I will not mention about gents. Uh, <laughs> but clap for the gents, they did a very good work. Uh, my ladies, oh, let me just say, forgive me, let me say, <laughs> my ladies managed to come up with uh, 48,000. And I'm sure, given time, they could have wangefikata uh, more than that. Look at my target 60. But you know, it was a short notice. Uh, it required time church. But you're not limited. In our envelopes, we have the project, uh, church project. If in any case, any time you want to support the church, we usually have a lot of things to do. Like sound, sometimes they can have one is a kuna keys, the keyboards, mearbika, kuna strings, the guitar. So when you are supporting, you are doing church projects, there's a lot of things to be done in church. Praise God. So let me get back. We are still in the presence of God. So today I want us to to learn about the practical operation of the word of God. Praise God. The practical operation of the word of God. Many other times that we we have known the theoretical part of it. We have read the word of God and just kusoma too. But I want us to understand that we can experience the practical operation of the word of God. I want us to understand that the word of God has all solutions to all situations of life. Praise the Lord. It has all solutions. Are you sick? It has healing. By the stripes of Jesus, we were healed. Praise the Lord. Are you angry? In the book of Isaiah 55, the Bible says, Come, come, O ye. Praise God. And buy without money. Hallelujah. The word of God as solution to all situations of life. But the word of God does not just operate. It operates uh, practically when you mix it with the faith 
praise God. And when you mix it with the presence of God, it will always operate as long as you are in the presence of God and you are trusting God and you are believing in the same word. Somebody is thinking that the presence of God is only on the altar or it's only in the church. We should be in the presence of God 247. Praise the Lord. At your house, as you walk, you should be in the presence of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So for the word of God to work in your life, it has to be mixed with a faith. It has been it has it has uh, it has to operate where there is the presence of God. Praise God. Praise God. In the presence of God is where the Holy Spirit glorifies Jesus in your heart and does uh, actualizes the word of God because he is the helper that we have been given. After Jesus ascended, he said, uh, you shall receive power when the Spirit has come upon you. Praise God. So the Spirit of the truth, who is the truth? Jesus himself. I am the way, the truth, and life. So the Spirit of the truth is the Spirit of God. He is the Spirit of Jesus. And he says, he will glorify me. In our lives, of course, he will glorify Jesus. Praise God. How will he glorify Jesus? After he has come and caused healing in your life, you stand and glorify God through the Holy Spirit. Praise God. When you are lacking and you get provision, Jehovah Jireh, through the Spirit of God, you glorify Jesus. Hallelujah. So before, before you command any situation, make sure you're in the presence of God and you are on the same page with the Holy Ghost. Because you alone, you will not make it. He has to be there to quicken you and to help you. Born as if we're son. Uh, I, just, I was just thinking that the word of God the word of God is more than a legal document praise God praise the Lord the very word of God is more than a legal document more powerful more operative than a legal document it is a living document praise the Lord it is a living document and it becomes a living force in our lives when we act upon it by having faith that whatever we are commanding is going to happen when as if we are sad. So I want us to, uh, to read from the book of Hebrews. Hebrews chapter number 4 and verse 12. there Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 12 the Bible says for the word of God no let me read from the amplified Bible version for the word that God speaks is alive and full of power making it active operative energizing and effective it is sharper than any two-edged sword penetrating to the dividing line of the breath of life that is soul and the immortal spirit and of the joints and marrow of the deepest part of our nature exposing and sifting and analyzing and judging the very thoughts and purposes 
of the heart. Praise God. When something is alive, it is something that is mobile. Praise the Lord. When something is active, when something is active, when as first said, it is uh, it is potent, it is operative. When as first said, it is powerful, it is effective. Hallelujah. So the Bible says that the word that God speaks is alive, it is full of power. So if the Lord says by the stripes of Jesus we were uh, or we are healed because it's a continuous tense, we are healed every day, every moment. That's why you're not sick today. And if you're sick, you are healed now, not you will be healed. Praise be to God. So the Bible says this word is alive. Anything that is living has a capacity to grow. It has a capacity to develop. When as fuel. It has a capacity to produce. It is able to respond to its environment. It is able to adapt. Praise be to God. So the word of God is alive in us. And so that we grow in the knowledge of the word of God. We develop. Growth and development has a slight difference. You can grow in stature. But for you to produce, to become mature, you have to develop. One as if You can see someone who is grown up but not developed. So the word of God enables us to grow in the world. It enables us to develop and to produce. Praise God. To come up with fruits of righteousness. It is through the word of God. It enables us to respond to the environment. The word of God responds to its environment. And that environment is the very presence of God. That's why I'm trying to say that the word of God is operative only, only in the, the presence, presence of God. Glory to God. The word of God is uh, adaptive. It is able to adapt because it is living. Praise God. That's why uh, we are able to endure tribulations if we are developed in the word of God. If we have grown in the word of God and for example you face tribulations in the, in the journey of salvation. The word of God that is new is going to give you power to do what? To adapt to those challenges. Of Praise be to God. It continues and says that the word of God is active. The NIV says the word for the word of God is alive and active. So um, I'm saying the word of God in its power, it is operative. It is functioning. Praise God. It is effective. It is powerful. It is potent. It is non-passive. Praise the Lord. The word of God is active in our lives. And it is only active if we are in the presence of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Uh, the Bible continues and says, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit. When I was standing here, I was asking the Lord to minister to me because the word of God is like a double-edged sword. Uh, I know some people here are born tea, born towns. They have never held a panga, but you have held a knife. But let me use an example of a knife. A panga is, a, is, a, is an object that is bigger than a knife. Praise God. You know, Kama, if you've never been in a shamba, when will you know a panga? Or you, 
unapata au kusoma agriculture hmm? kuna watu walisoma agriculture farm tools and all those things so you're privileged if you're born town and you read uh, you did agriculture in high school at least you know uh, the shape of a panga so a panga is uh, just like a knife and now the lord says that his word is sharper than any double edged sword so the sword is a big knife praise the lord so when when the word of god is operating like that it means before i speak it it has to cut me anytime you are lifting that you don't cut when it's down you lift then you you lift then you cut and for you to cut well you have to lift so powerfully so as i lift the word of god to impact you it has to cut me because i'm lifting and cutting so it is as sharp as a double edged sword penetrating ah uh, penetrating to the dividing line of the breath of life that is the soul and the immortal spirit the word of god has power to penetrate in our souls and to divide to make a line between our souls and the spirit praise be to god hallelujah and so that's why there is a distinction there's a distinction we know the levels of the spirit we, we it's enabling us not to operate in our solical state but to operate in our spiritual state because the word has drawn a line praise god it continues and says um end of joints and marrow of the deepest parts of our nature so the word of god when when it is talking about uh penetrating through our joints and marrow praise god the the essence or the fact of healing comes in now the word of god is able to heal your inmost nature doesn't matter what is happening in your body doesn't matter in the bone marrow is where we have the red blood cells and the white blood cells so the blood or not the blood the the word of god praise the lord it is sharper than any double edged sword and it penetrates in your joints it penetrates in your bone marrow in your marrow even in the deepest part of your nature praise the lord praise the lord bringing healing in your life bringing a restoration in your blood stream hallelujah continues and says exposing and sifting and analyzing and judging the very thoughts and, and purposes, purposes of the heart what does it feel sometimes you can hear pastor preaching i had a testimony this morning for another and uh, pastor was preaching here he was led by the spirit to disconnect the the illegit relationships there was one of you had a friend uh, and then the friend was in one of those relationships and they had shared and this gentleman approached the other and told look now you've told past about my life now today was preaching about about me and he really disconnected me with my girl look at you and uh, i was like what you know you don't share with us the secret as in even if you come and share to me or pastor we cannot preach that praise god and it happened pastor didn't know anything about that uh so what am i saying i'm saying that the word of god is it is exposing and sifting analyzing and judging the very thoughts and purposes of the heart so if you come in the presence of god and god wants to align you the word of god if it's for you that day the lord has a purpose with your life he will he will really make sure that his word has penetrated into your heart it has exposed everything i may not know but i may speak it out and it comes to you so the lord wants you through that yesu asifiwe sana judging the very thoughts and purposes of the heart could be you are purposing to you came to church with a different purpose not worship the lord 
be your you are in uh, in the church because our praise and worship wana kwanga wamejidu vizuri mimi nataka tu nikaakae karibu anionange hmm? praise god and then there you are you've just come to be seen so that at the end of it all you benefit eh upate life partner praise god judging the very thoughts and purposes of the heart hallelujah is somebody getting anything the bible says nothing in all creation is hidden from god's sight everything is uncovered laid bare before the eyes of him to whom we must give account to whom we must give account so anything that you're doing the lord is is looking at you the lord is looking at at us daily and everything that we do god sees it to whom we must give account and you know we we shall all of us appear before the presence of god before the throne of god and we shall give account of anything everything that we have done under the sun Sometimes we have spent our lives without understanding that we shall give an account of everything that we did. Glory to God. Mimi sijui nilikuwa tukao watoto tulikuwa tunaambua sinema sinema itatolewa hata kuna wimbo na imbo hivyo. Rudha anaijua. Hukumu itatolewa kwa watu wote wabaya. Upenda mwengo na dhambi zao sinema itatolewa bwana asifiwe so sisi tulikuwa tunaambua sinema itatolewa matendo yako yote sijui kama imeandikwa kwa biblia mbuche ipo sinema itatolewa maisha yako yote from genesis to revelation of your life lakini hakunanga revelation kwa life inakuanga genesis <laughs> mwanzo revelation interpretation yake si ama si si eh, eh, ni end si end but from your genesis the genesis of your life shall be played and everything that you did kuna mwimbaji alisema for example you know when young people young people we we like tuseme mimi ni msichana and uh, sijapenda kumekuwa na hizi contraceptives they prevent many many things praise god and this girl standing there looks so pure but tujui ameabort watoto wangapi bwana asifiwe sinema itatolewa sinema itatolewa wote ambao uliabort praise god every experience of your life shall be played so that usiseme hapana Yesu ananiambia mimi nisiende mbinguni wajua kujitetea naye wanadamu tunajua so kama sinema hizi tolewa kama evidence then mtu akienda jehanamu atakuwa anaonyeshwa hata anasema stop from that point ya anaenda praise god eh? anasema imetosha hiyo ime, usiwaonyeshe hiyo ingine kwa sababu unajua next praise the lord so sinema itatolewa hmm? watu wengine wanajificha kwa dhambi sana ni gentlemen si jenda hakuna siku atakuwa na ball praise the lord praise be to god let's talk there's no day you will find a gentleman with a capital d there's no day so the young generation the young people the young gentlemen okay they have really messed up themselves wacha niseme kitu kingine yenye watu wanaogopa kusema kijana utajuaje ni virgin tuelezane ukweli praise god praise god so i'm trying to say sometimes young men uh, they blame young ladies so much at you are loose you are what the young men praise the lord <laughs> the word of god penetrating eh? sifting kusunza the thoughts the deeper thoughts praise the lord may the lord help us 
May the Lord help us. <laughs> I'm just reminded in my mind there's a contraceptive agent imetoka. Na inangoja, inangoja kuproviwa. It has been proven to the rodents. So it's waiting to be proven to, to people. I think come June. And so <laughs> uh, there, was, there was a friend of mine. She's got Karendi. She was, she was like, no, God, no, no. Karendi, where are you stand? We were at the church. Where are you? You're fearing and you are here singing choir. Ukwabi? Yes, there she is. She's my roommate. She's a girl who will make sure I'm going to my meetings and I'm going food. Eh? Clap for that girl. So one day, one day, to learn two status, I'm say, like, ha, what is this? No, gentlemen, no, 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 no. And she was like, she, she complained the whole day and she was telling me, no, God should not allow this thing. This thing, no, our gents are going to be lost, completely lost. Praise God. Hmm? I, I was not supposed to, to talk about that, but it's, a, it's an alert. That contraceptive has been proven. Our gents, please don't use it. Don't use it. Our ladies, don't use the ones that have been there. They are for the old mothers who don't want to bear children and they have not gotten to the age of menopause. And they, they, don't, they are married. They don't want to, to have children again. They don't want to have a dozen of children. Praise the Lord. They're not for young ladies. Whether born again or not, they are not for young ladies. I came to realize sometimes ladies are using, there's a pill called P2, and they're using that pill like weekly. It's an emergency pill, an abortion pill. And men don't know. Abortion pill is given to uh, somebody who is raped. Praise the Lord. Are you raped that you use P2? Na wengine wako Sitaki kusema hapa. They are not here. Let's continue. I'm talking about the practical operation of the word of God. Unajua aje kama at this that session that I was talking. How do you know that the word of God was not judging the very thoughts and purposes of some people's hearts here? Praise the Lord. Ah uh, in the book of Jeremiah 23, verse 29, Jeremiah, Jeremiah, chapter 23, and verse 29. Praise God. The word of God is active even to, to your enemies. But curse your enemies. Don't do the work of God. The Bible says he was blessing Abraham and he told him, them that shall bless you, I will bless them. And them that shall curse you, I will curse them. He did not tell him, you are my servant, curse them. Praise God. Even if I am the servant of God and I try to curse somebody, the Lord will curse me. Because I'm trying to do, the Lord says, oh, those who will curse you, I'll cast them. So I'm casting them to where God curses me. Praise God. Even if they have done what is, what is not required. So our work is to bless. Just bless. And because them they have cast, don't cast back. They will be cast by the, by the, the person. Don't help, by God. don't help God in his work. Don't judge people. Let God judge. Praise the Lord. So if you come across your enemies, your friends, or anybody who is not doing as, as supposedly of them, do not cast them. Speak blessings upon them. And as you speak blessings, when they don't, uh, they are not supposed to be blessed, the Lord will turn, the blessings you are speaking, the Lord himself will turn them into a curse, but not you to turn the blessings into, into a curse. The Bible says, is not my word like fire, 
that consumes all that cannot endure the test, says the Lord. And like a hammer that breaks in pieces the rock of most stubborn resistance. Praise God. It doesn't matter what has been so stubborn in your life. It doesn't matter what situation has been so resistant. It doesn't matter what has been blocking your, your path and how resistant it is and how stubborn it is. Praise God. The Bible says we have a solution, the word of God. And I said the word of God operates practically when you remain in his presence. So as long as you're in the presence of God, and the word of God is, as, is like fire that consumes, praise God, it will be in a position to consume anything that is hindering your progress. It will be in a position to consume, even if it is a person. God is not a respecter of person, please. Praise God. You know, sometimes, sometimes, Ati, because uh, allow me to use my friends and praise and worship and maybe choir, because you have that sweet voice, you can play good keys, you can do something, something good. You feel like, uh uh, Nimimi too. Praise God. Nimimi do kweza. No, God is not a respecter of persons. He will do without you. He will choose another person. Praise the Lord. Praise be to God. Ati wendo unatuangene sadaka kubwa. For example, kila time, unatuangazile matides at mahelfu. And then you're like, that church cannot proceed without me. God is not a respecter of persons. There are many times we have failed it because of kujiangalia. Mi ni kekata kufanya one, two, three. Those people, they can't do without me. That is a wrong motive in the kingdom. I tell you, you will serve, you will sweat, you will do everything. But when the day comes for you to give an account or the Lord to, 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 to present your marks or what you've done, you will find a very big zero. You find a very big zero. The Bible says, uh, "In the last day, our works will be fa- uh, uh, will be uh, no, will be passed through fire." Praise God. Mandiko na seme akwamba tuta vikwa kiswahili niki kosea kuvikwa sawa sawa tuta vikwa taji bwana sifuwe. And sometimes mandiko na seme kuna kuna taji za nyasi silver gold and then after to make elewa sasa i i suppose i be i believe kutakuwa na kama entrance after to melipwa kila mtu atalipa kulingana na kazi yake so tutavikwa taji sasa unaambua pitia hapa alafu uko na nyasi na hiyo nyasi is accumulation of a lot of things that you did in church so commit you did, but with a wrong motive. In amount to a nyasi. Somebody did one thing, nani gold. Praise the Lord. So it's a challenge to us. It's not all about works. It's not all about what you have achieved. It is the motive that you have. It's not all about what you can give. It is all about the motive. So the word of God is like fire that consumes Again, it says, it is like hammer that breaks in pieces the rock of, uh, of most stubborn resistance. Praise be to God. What situation is that in your life that is so resistant? You've been sick for a long time. You've been praying. You've been being prayed for every time. Now, pony. Praise God. You've been praying. To get money, you're not getting money. The challenge of finance, finances, is so resistant, doesn't want to get away from your way. It is obstructing you from achieving your goals. What is it that is so resistant in your life? The word of God is like hammer. And right now, 
The word of God is in the work. It is hammering. It is breaking that thing that has been a resistant. Praise God. Do you have the thorn like that of Paul? Do you, do you have that thorn? Do you have somebody in the village who doesn't want even to hear that umefika for the umefika that dear? And you are prayed all every time, every time. And that person is still. Wajua ni mekuja kujua watu muna semanga ukambani bure. Hey, wah. Kambia, the other tribes, eh? They know what is uchawi. They know that thing. There are tribes that they can call a mighty from the grave. Mkamba sijasikia uko. Mtuwe umesikia? Mnazika mtu? Praise the Lord. You bury somebody and you have to stay at the graveyard guarding that body until it decays. Look at that. That is not a kamba. It's another tribe represented here. Just here. Praise the Lord. And so I was, nilikuwa naelezwa how the mighty is called and I was like, ah, how now? Ati mtu na kuja sujua kwa na dawa gani? Muna sema sito kwa na kamuti? Ai, ah, ah. Ata kamuti ya mkamba yezi faibu. Mnuita mtu, anakufuata. Ukitaka atoke na, na, na coffin, anatoka na ayo. Ukimutaka ye peke yake, anajifungua uko ndani, anakuja. And I'm like, okay. Praise the Lord. And that person, iyo dawa umeshika, inamfanya akufuate mpaka pale utakapoenda. Na nikambu yo mtu, akija kutana tuna mtu. Wash, wagusane tu hivi, wa umekufa. Ana muna reso mpaka na make sure umekufa ndiyo atatoka hapo, atakuachilia. Buwana sifiwe. Do you have, are you coming from those villages? Are you coming from those places? And those people have been so stubborn to your family. Are you coming from a place that your family is the only family that is recognized as the family that has the born again people? And all other villages are just against you. Because their spirits in the village has made the watoto wa hiyo heri ya wasisome na nyinyi jumla tumainia Mungu mmesoma. And so they are so stubborn. Every time you are sick, every time you are sick. Praise God. Ukienda party huko mgonjwa, lakini ukienda exam huko mgonjwa. That spirit is so stubborn. And I I was reading some other time and I said stubbornness is first Samuel chapter somebody remind me it's in the first Samuel chapter is it 15 what do I tell you if you go go when you know Sam stubbornness is like a sin of witchcraft so what but we can we can continue. So stubbornness. There are very people there are people who are so stubborn. There are situations that are so stubborn. But the word of God is practical today. It is operating practically. And I said something that is alive is mobile. So from this point you can command things in your family and the word of God moves actively and corrects every situation. Praise God. It just requires you, the one that is commanding is the one who is supposed to be in the presence of God. Because it will operate only in the presence of God. Usiseme, sasa babangu ni mle, na ya yuko kwa presence, sasa itamusaidia. It will help that person on, a, on your account. Because you are in the presence of God and the one that is saying it. Praise God. So we just need to take the word of God as is, if we are in his presence. If the word says heal the sick, cleanse the leper, raise the dead, go to a mission desk. Nye mnaendanga level five. Siku moja muingia mwag. Na msema, the word of God says, heal the sick. Kwanza unapitia, unenda procedure kali. Unapitia kwa wagonjwa, heal the sick. 
unaponya cleanse the leper when you are on a wheelchair what then we proceed to the mortuary raise the dead praise the lord praise the lord the word of god is active and alive is alive and active if only you are in his presence praise god nilikuwa nimesema that the word of god knows or it is able to detect its environment it will not just work it will detect tuko wapi its environment it only works in its environment in its environment uh, the presence of god and the power of god is only in his presence and as i started i said that his splendor for glory and the power comes to to seize on the presence praise god it comes to seize on the presence of god and how do we get in the presence of god uh, we get into his presence by praying in spirit all times and being alert ephesians 6:18 You have to be alert even if you're in the presence of God. You have to be alert. What is the word of God command, commanding you to do at that particular time? Praise the Lord. Uh Ephesians 18 Ephesians 6 imepotea Praise God Amen Mbeni kona sauti Pray at all times on every occasion in every season in the spirit with all manner of prayer and entreaty to that uh, to that end keep alert praise god uh, even if you're you're praying in spirit keep alert make sure you are alert in the presence of god bwana asifiwe uh, do you wonder why sometimes the man of god is here and is saying take it and somebody just received it uh, from that point and not you usisema iko yangu he says the power of god is here take it siku ilikuwa power ya god ilikuwa ikuja kwa naomi it is here for everyone why is that person receiving so quickly because they are alert praise the lord so we have to keep alert in the presence of god his presence is not just in prayer alone it is in the prayer that is prayed in the spirit because all religious people they pray nani anaweza shinda muislam kuomba hapa inua mkono inua mkono hakuna <laughs> lakini wapo unajua kwa nini wana washinda the people that are led by the spirit of god have an overtaking overtaking speed overtaking anointing you can pray even uh, in few seconds na umewashinda because your prayer is seasoned by the spirit of god and it is so effectual praise the lord because yao ni religious I'm sorry to say that if you have a relative who is a muslim but I'm trying to say those people they practice religion praise god so I'm saying prayer is not just powerful it will not hush you in the presence of god you you can pray in tongues many times you can you can pray but if you are not in spirit I tell you because I came to realize sometimes we pray just we, we pray in tongues uh, when we are not in spirit praise god tunaomba tu zile tunajua zile tumekram tunaomba unafikiria huyu mtu amesoka lakini is not in spirit so prayer is not just effectual until it is seasoned by the spirit of god until you are praying when you are in the realm of the spirit and not in the realm of the flesh praise god praise the lord 
In the realm of the spirit is where there is always results. Results. But in the realm of the flesh, you will fast, but no results. You will pray and pray the whole day, but no results. Because you are praying to be seen how eloquent you are in prayer, how you can jump, how you can sarakasi in prayer. Kwanza iki kizazi. Praise the Lord. So in the realm of the spirit is where there are results. If you fast in, fresh, in, in flesh, there are no results. If you pray in, in flesh, there's, there's no results. Praise God. You repent in flesh. That is dangerous. You repent in flesh. You go about sinning the more. Because you are trying to push to a devil and you are not into it. So you come on Sunday, you repent, you go home, you repent. So if you repent today, the rest of the week you are going to do as many more sins that you, than, than you did last week. Because you are threatening the devil and he's trying to make sure you are closer to him than before. So if you have not purposed your mind, don't repent. Call yourself a meeting. Purpose. After you've made the final purpose, come and repent. Praise the Lord. Uh, I'm trying to say it is only in the presence of God. It is only the people that are in the presence that are able to use the power of God and the power of the word of God and the power of the name of Jesus. Uh, take an example in the book of Acts, chapter number 19 and verse 13. There were sons of the priest. In fact, he was a high priest, chief priest. So that I may show you that God is no respecter of persons. He's not respecter of authorities. He's a respecter of the motive. He's a respecter of the inner person. Not what we see here. He's not respecter of that long dress that I'm in. He's not respecter of how expensive you are. He's not respecter of atweni mtoto wa pasi. No. He's a respecter of who is carrying his presence. So the sense of the chief uh, priest, some Jews who went around driving out evil spirits tried to invoke the name of the Lord Jesus over those who were demon-possessed. They would say, in the name of the Jesus whom Paul preaches, I command you to come out. Seven sons of Severs, Scavers, a Jewish sheep, chief priest, were doing them, were doing this. One day, one day, the evil spirit answered them, Jesus I know and Paul I know about, but who are you? Then the man who had the evil spirit jumped on them and overpowered them all. He gave them such a beating that they ran out of the house. Praise God. Are you joking with the word of God? Are you joking with the name of Jesus? Are you joking and you are not in the presence? Praise God. You will receive a beating from the devil. Hallelujah. At he, because at the, the, in the name of Jesus, who is preached by my, my father, pastor, eh? watch an isemejina, the word of God, unajua the word of God, it searches the hearts. Alafu nisemejina ya apostle so and so. Alafu hapa kuna mtu babake ni pasi, na anaito wa ivo. Weh, staki. So, you are like, in the name of Jesus, who is preached by my father, or my uncle, or in the name of Jesus that is preached by Pastor Tyson. Praise God. Because you are not in the presence. You are using them because they are in the presence. So the demons will be tired one day. And they will say, Tyson we know. Apostle Joshua we know. But who are you? Tell somebody remain in the presence. Remain in the presence. Hallelujah. Uh, we should always be still 
in the presence of God. We should not wander here and there. Praise God. When uh, we are in the presence of God, uh, the supernatural is released to us. The supernatural operates in the stillness. And the flesh loses the grip. The flesh in a loose the grip when you are in the presence of God. And you are only focused on God alone. So it's a calling to all of us that we remain in the presence of God. So that we experience the practical operation of the word of God. If you are in the presence of God and you are praying uh, in the spirit at all times and you are walking out there and you meet with somebody who is sick, you are able to pray for them and they receive their healing. Don't tell people there, at least you take a Sunday to church your condition is not going to be able to do it. What do you want to do? Carry the presence of God and then pray for the sick wherever you are. Praise the Lord. Win souls wherever you are because you're in the presence of God. When you're in the presence of God, temptations will not find you. The sin itself will not find you. Praise God. Because the flesh will not be magnified. Uh, I'm so grateful today for this chance. Pastor, thank you. The Lord bless you. I'm grateful to every person uh, executive, you people, you are doing a lot of work. Can you clap for them? <laughs> These guys are doing a lot of work. For every event to succeed, yes, there must be there must be an input of mature. There must be a great input of every one of us. There must be an input of Masiga. Praise God. Even my ladies' events that I usually conduct. Masiga will make sure everything has been, has been arranged. That's why he's the uh, operations coordinator. And uh, I'm blessed to serve with these people. Uh, the likes of Tabitha, they are good people. We talk to them. Those people are really praying for us in their absentia, and we are so happy. The Lord is blessing them. All the ministerial leaders feel appreciated. The Lord bless you so much. To Noapenda Sana from the side of executive, Thank you so much. Thank you, Pastor, for making sure the church is running so well. The Lord bless you. Um, I've just finished. So as Pastor comes, I want us to thank the Lord for his word. Father, we thank you because of your word. Thank you for speaking to us. Thank you for healing hearts in your word. We thank you and we bless you. Because from today, we shall practice your practical operation of your word. And Father, we shall heal the sick on our paths, in our houses, at home, Lord, wherever we are, Father, we shall heal the sick. We shall preach the gospel, and many people will turn to you, Lord. Thank you, Jehovah Redeemer, because you're great. I bless this church, and I pray the Lord you keep us growing. You keep us developing. The Lord, we may glorify your name every time in Jesus' name. I worship and I bless you. In the name of Jesus, Father, we give you praise. Say amen. amen. Say my glory. Say my Hallelujah.